Busanan Ong Ban Rong Fan and Chinese Taipei's superstar Tai Su Ying. We can take a look at the third section of this women's singles draw. Both Ong Ban Rong Fan and Tai Su Ying came through in straight games yesterday to set up our next featured match. Carolina Marin, a likely opponent for the winner tomorrow. She should be well rested after an early retirement by Gao Fangji yesterday, but that's if she can overcome Sung Chu Yun today. There is Busanan Ong Van Rong Fan. Her opponent from Chinese Taipei. She was up inside the top ten earlier on this year briefly. I say briefly for two or three months actually. But it's going to be a tough test again for her today against Chinese Taipei's Tai Su Ying. Ireland. 19th meeting between these two. We'll see that in a few moments, but uh, the overall statistic for me is the last 13 meetings between these two have all gone the way of Tai Su Ying. That must really put a lot of pressure on Ong Ban Ron Fan's shoulders today. There is that head-to-head, -head, so the 19th meeting, the last one at the All England. Black. That was the uh, round of 16 earlier this year. Black. Yeah, red flag, yeah. This side. <laughs> Your service. Good match. Umpire forgetting who called what colour there. The uh, coin toss to decide. Serve and return, and also the choice of ends. Twenty-seven years of age now, Ong Bang Rong Fan. The twenty fifteen Southeast Asian Games champion. She's never been past the second round here at the Denmark Open. It's her ninth attempt this year. Three titles on the World Tour to her name, the last of which the India Open. The High Low and the Orleans back in twenty twenty one. A couple of finals, but nothing so far in 2023, reasonably dominant yesterday against Japan's Aya Ahori in round one. Just 35 minutes. And what can I tell you about uh, Tai Su Ying that you don't already know? She has the record, I believe, for women's singles most weeks spent at world number one. Just about four years at world number one. That is amazing. 72 weeks consecutively at one point. And still only 29. Pretty steady yesterday. Slight wobble in the second against Yeo Jimin. Again, 35 minutes on court. Both players should be pretty fresh and ready for this one. Ready to play. Michael Stair is our uh, chair umpire for this match from Denmark. And I think that's Seamus helping. Yes, Seamus from Ireland, our service judge.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tsang Chung Ying, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Kusanan Abung Nukang, Thailand. Kusanan Pangung Pang to serve. Double play. So the Thai Ong Bam Rong Fan will start the match with serve in the yellow jersey at the top of your screens there and gets off the mark. And whilst we get this one underway, I'm really pleased to say that I've got some company in the commentary box with me this morning. Two times Commonwealth Games medalist, Scottish superstar, Kirsty Gilmore. Welcome, Kirsty. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And for early women singles, no less. <laughs> I haven't done one yet. <laughs> no. no, it is great to have you here, particularly in your own event. Let me just say a quick uh, well done to you. A tough match on uh, on day one against PV Sindo for you. Um, great to have you here to help us uh, call these ones as well. It's a tough test for Busana today. I was looking at the head-to-head -head stats. The last 13 matches have gone to Tai Su Ying. No. Olympic uh, one, silver medalist, two. world champion, so many weeks at world number one. And Busanan hasn't taken a game off her in those last 12 meetings either. Wow, that is, that is, those are some tough statistics. What, what do you do going into a match like that? Well, so my feeling against Tai Tzu Ying is she's one of the top players that actually lets you play. Um, she'll kill you eventually, but she actually lets you get into the, the rallies, get into the game, play around. Three, Maybe one. a little bit like a cat with a mouse sometimes. Right. But um, she lets you play she lets you see what you can do and then it's really the deciding factor for her is her skills they are so smooth and when she's on it of a day they're they're unreadable and the quality is so high saying that Busanan also has some really nice skills we might see from very late in the backhand net she's a really nice cross court which catches you you think it's completely unplayable she can catch you there. So this is a very um, kind of skill-based match. I don't think we're not going to see massive power shots, um, but, but the skills I'm showing this match are going to be second to none. Well, we saw a decent round the head winner from Tai Su Ying here. Just that placement, like I say, there's not much power, not much sting on that. It's just perfectly placed out of Busanan's reach. I think I was mistaken earlier about the most weeks spent at world number one for a singles player. Just in case our colleague Jill Clark's watching and listening. Gives me a slap on the wrist later, but um, I think Susie Cezanti might have the record. So, just to check myself on that. <laughs> tai Tzu Ying was there for a long time, so... She certainly was. It's a fair call. Five, four. If there's anyone in this tour era that could perhaps take over Tai Tzu Ying's current record, or current run, it would be our current number one, Anne Tzu Ying, considering she's only... 22 years old. I think she's still 22. With her current form, I could see her being world number one for a long time yet to come. No! Terrific from Busanan. Six, four. A little bit short, perhaps, that's uh, clear. Potentially. Hard to see from that angle. 11, 16. I will say for anyone watching, Busanan on Bang Rong Front. Wow, that was a great retrieve. One of the highest high serves in the game. It goes out of the, the screen that we're currently watching on. It goes out the top of it. It stays out for a very long time. Oh, that's... This is what I'm saying about net, or especially net skills on show here today. 
five, six. That might have been going wide, but uh, that racket skill to turn that cross from there. Brilliant. Beautiful. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot in the conditions out here this week. Uh, I can't remember which court you were on. Are you on court two? This one, this very court. Doesn't seem to be a lot of drift left to right. Not left to right. I did find um, the way that Busanan is currently hitting yep. a little fast. She's playing with the drift. So I think she's playing with the drift. Although it doesn't really, it doesn't really feel like wind. Right. It just. <laughs> this is such a silly sentence. It just feels like the shuttle travels faster. This way, it doesn't feel necessarily windy. Okay. Um, and then it's kind of normal going the way that Tai Tzu Ying is hitting. Although we did find that when you go kind of flat and fast with these kind of pushes, um, it is tending to travel out a little bit. So the players will need to be a little bit careful right. on their trajectory on those ones. See if they can gain some control over them. Yeah. Looking at the pace of some of the rallies, the shuttle speed seems pretty standard. Doesn't seem slow to me, but it doesn't yep. really seem that quick either. Nope, it's quite nice, quite comfortable to play out there. Uh, the conditions are, are quite nice. It lends itself to good quality badminton. Yeah. Well, Busanan been given some freedom so far. Two point lead. Like you said, Kirsty, it uh, doesn't ever seem to be a worry for Tai Su Ying. Yeah, Cool Cam Collected is kind of her brand. Nice. Just getting a little turn on that. Not a massive cross court to cross court. Just enough to make it awkward for Busanan. Busanan kind of split her feet and was ready for those that actual rear forehand corner there. Well, another tall player, Busanan, manages to cut that uh, flat lift out. Nice. That's been quite demoralising, like you said about um, PV Sindhu earlier. <laughs> Difficult. When you think you've played a good quality shot, somehow the tall player just manages to get a, a racket onto it somehow. Yeah, that's the third time I think we've seen from that forehand net. Tai Tzu Ying tried to go cross lift into Busanan's forehand, and Busanan's had her racket up and ready for it, so... I'm hoping that's just a good bit of homework from Busanan and her coaching team to be ready for that. A little kind of a habit in Tai Tzu Ying's game, which I might steal for myself, actually, <laughs> for the next time I have to play her. Nice return of serve. <laughs> She's struggling to read that um, cross slice from around the head corner. <laughs> Matched by Busanan. Yeah. Ten, eight. 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 Short serve variation from Busanan, just causing Tai Ying a few problems. Three points the lead at the mid-game interval. And the uh, heavy underdog in this match. Doing enough at this stage. Play. 
see what you mean about that high serve. Yep. It's got snow on it. I thought yours was always pretty high, to be honest. Yeah, I do give it a good slap <laughs> up there. <laughs> but uh, honestly, it's um, it's very difficult to deal with Busanan's super high serve. It comes, it's dropping so vertically that it's yep. hard to get a clean clean hit on it. So it really minimizes what you can do on that return. Great rally here. Tyson Ying looked out of it at the net at one point. Lucen has missed. This is where I think Tyson Ying needs to she needs to live in this zone. In these longer rallies, I think she is generally the more steady player. Busanan can have a tendency to, to make little kind of simple-ish errors like that. Whereas Tyson Young's much less likely to do that. But whether she's feeling it today. That always seems to be the thing with Tyson Young. Watched her play last week. I think she went out at the Arctic Open. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her opponent. Terrific battle. Really up their pace from the start and surprised Tai Su Ying. But it's whether she's feeling it. I think that's a, that's a really good way of putting it. Good net shot. It's pretty brave to take on somebody like Tai Ying at the net. Absolutely. Quality there. Superb. Took a little net cord. Always helps the cause. Shot. Just that little drop of the elbow 11, lets her guide it across there. And awesome. the net cord as well. Yeah. That is special. Remember, it was Pong Pali Chochuang last week. It was, yeah, I, I watched that. I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't <laughs> remember that because. I was commentating on it, Kirsty, so don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. I'll okay, that is worse. Yeah. Because I uh, I lost out in the first round to Pong Pali. She and looked big and strong compared to the last time I saw her play. Yeah, and I was uh, annoyed, but relatively okay with how I played, but annoyed about the outcome. And then turns out Pampaway was having a very good week and had the ability to beat Tai Tzu Ying, so perspective is, is a wonderful thing. Busanan just misfires here with that cross smash. 13 all. As we near the business end of game one, Tai Tzu Ying is um, lacking in concentration. It could be a little bit of that. But just in the blink of an eye, we can be back level, so... Funny old game. Ooh. I'm not sure the players know there's a challenge system on court two. We've not seen one yet today, and we've seen plenty like that that I would have normally expected Tai Su Ying to to raise our hand for. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we could see a little stepping up from Tai Tzu Ying. Now, I think, like you say, maybe she was just trying to kind of settle in. 
thus far. And then we've seen a little fist pump. I think engines could be could be going, but whether today she has the the feeling and the skills for it remains to be seen. Oh, that's a couple from Busanan. Just these lo little loose ones, and it, it lets Tatsuyang back in this. I think there was a cross net. Three points ago, she missed. There's two out of that side into the tram line, the last two. Over. Looking for that forehand cross lift again, isn't she? Yep. Equally, yeah, Tai Tzu Ying hasn't been very stable in this game. I would say the majority of each player's points have been won from errors from the opponent. Some of the disguise from Tai Tzu Ying, it's really the best in the game, isn't it? Absolutely. That's a nice net. Wow. Great rally. Look at this. No choice but to lift that. And then the placement on this shot from Busanan is great. Like you said at the very beginning, it's not the uh, relentless power. It's the racket skills, the placement. Two-point lead. But anything could happen still. Yeah, I don't think either of these players have like really settled in and become completely comfortable in here. I feel like that might have been going wide. Yes, I think so too. There's certainly no momentum being built for either player, is there? No. It's just the mistakes you, you talked about. I see Ying asking for a shuttle change. And perhaps a chance to uh, resettle the nerves. I think worth noting that Tai Tzu Ying has physio tape up her right shin and around her left knee. So maybe physically she's... There's that backhand net I was talking about. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Delightful. Yeah, that'll get finished off. Yeah, Tai Tzu Ying maybe, maybe tearing a couple of little niggles, a couple of little injuries. Yeah, it was hard to see. Now, now I'm trying to search for it, you can see it, but it was difficult for me to see before. Yeah, the left knee is heavily strapped, isn't it? And that yeah. right shin. Nice return of serve. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, that will build some confidence. And we're back within a point. Just staying calm under that pressure. Busanana applied a good amount of pressure down that backhand side of Tai Tzu Ying and just her ability to stay calm and just chip it cross court into that space. It's a big point here. Might set up game point for Busanan. Yeah, it's a bit of a silly sentence, but there is a big difference between 19 all and 2018. Exactly. <laughs> One of those silly commentating sentences. 
It'll, you feel like it has to be done, though. This will get Surely. finished. Yes. Yeah, Butanan outstretched again. Those racket skills really on show. She does stay calm, doesn't she, under pressure, Tai Su Ying? Yeah, I think a good... I think one thing she's doing really well is using that front forehand of Busanan. You can see just whenever she lunges in there, she always brings her left leg in to meet, meet it, which drags her whole body away from the centre of the court quite a lot okay. and leaves the rest exposed. So I think Tai Su Ying's using that front forehand as a an opening kind of manoeuvre shot and then using the rest of the court when she can. That's not to say every time. Good save. Oy. Oh, brilliant. Oh. Look at that from Busanan. What a reaction. A bit of relief, I think. Huge amounts of relief. That, that shot pattern has had a lot of success for her in this set, in this game so far. Tai Tsuyin going straight clear out of that forehand and then Busanan goes cross court into that open space. And I think Tai Tsuyin read that one better than she has in the, the game so far. Yeah. As <laughs> Busanan was worried and then there's some relief there. <laughs> For a moment it looked like Tai Tsuyin would get that back. So, game point, Ong Ban Rong Fan. That is so well played. How many times have we seen her catch players with that forehand? It's a classic. It's, it's and a game classic. point down. Yeah, you can't see it coming. <laughs> you can do nothing about it. It's that open of the wrist. Looks like it's going to get pushed down the line and it's just whipped across. The quality as well, that is exactly where she wanted to play that, I've no doubt. Yeah. Deep enough so it's out of trouble, but not so close to the line that it risked going out. It was um, truly special. Textbook. That's and again. Nice. See these skills just come into play. I feel like Tai Chiang settled in a little bit now. So brave at such a crucial moment in the match, where earlier on in the match she'd miss a few of these. Yeah, I think that's what makes top players just their their confidence to know that like their groove will come, their rhythm will come. Game point. There now it is. You in first time of asking. Okay. What a shame for Busan. I really feel for her. She hasn't taken a game oh. of Tai Su Ying since the Denmark Open round of 16 in 2017. Wow. That's that's a lot. I couldn't believe they played each other 19 times. Incredible. This is the 19th. 19th. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Somehow she finds a way through once again. Tai Su Ying, the number four seed with the opener, 22-20. Not completely dominant. And essentially, a few physical uh, issues there. But she's done enough. มันรู้แล้วอ่ะมันรู้ว่ามันขึ้นหลังมันมันประคองอ่ะทีนี้คีมต้องจดจดหน้านิดนึงจดหน้าจดหน้าเยอะขึ้นนะจดหน้าวัน
second game. Double ball. Play. Well, so often these very top players find a way through even when things aren't exactly going all their way. I think that's true there of Tai Su Ying. When she needed to turn it on at the end, she produced some special shots. She did very well to wiggle out of the trouble she was in in that set. And she's starting to dictate early on in the second game. That was a brilliant rally. Yeah. One, love. What can you do, Kirsty, as a player to prevent Tai Su Ying from having that sort of time on the shuttle to sort of deceive you? I mean, is it a case of your work rate, your effort levels? I think you have to start there. I think you can't get into that performance space without working hard and, and really scrapping to survive these routes. I mean, that's on the cross and the back line. Inch perfect, I think. Yeah. Two. Um, one other thing you can do is push her back off the net. Her overhead skills are lovely, but they're not. They, at least you have more time to deal with them, and like I say, survive them. But it's no, it's no uh, secret that she's world, absolute world class from the net. So a tactic I would employ would be to push her back off that net. Actually, don't go tight net unless you're 100% in control. Maybe go longer into the court. Right. So that she's not taking a, a stepping in, taking that, that perfect hitting timing. No. Try and mix her up a little bit. Nice attack again, Tai Su Ying. A perfect start to the second game. Oh. Perfect. Threaded that down the line. Already, I can feel there's more energy to Tai Tsu Ying already in this second game. Yeah, it's like she's woken up. Yeah. Could have just been finding her, her rhythm, settling in in the first game, but it was, like we say, not much. There was not much smoothness to the, the momentum of it. Those ones, the way that Tai Su Ying is now hitting those kind of punchy flat shots, they're going to carry out and pass the back line. And that's that, um, well, whether we can call it drift, it just feels faster, yeah. slightly. Yeah. Whee! Oh. Indecision. Two, four. Not just you then that um, struggles to deal with that serve. Look how far that drifted to the right, actually. Yeah. Started off the foot inside the centre line. Space on the cross, but I think it was a little bit early for him. I don't think she Five, worked the rally. Three. I don't think she pulled Tai Tsu Ying out of position enough before she went for that space. I think Tai Tsu Ying was going to pick that up quite comfortably. She's very calm, isn't she? Tai Tsu Ying late in that backhand corner, but that short lift dispatched. Yeah. Four, that is the thing five. with Tai Tsu Ying. Rarely do you feel like you've you've rattled her. I think other players kind of you can tell when you're getting at them a little bit. But with Tai Tsu Ying, Yamaguchi, and Su Young, I'd say they're all particularly good at just remaining stoic in the rallies and out with rallies. Good. Bisnan finding good length on this side. Five. 
think that could be very key for her to make some headway in this set, in this game. Yeah, absolutely. She uh, had a terrible start, or rather, Tai Su Ying had a terrific start. Again. Busanan's got the better feeling of the length, hasn't she? Mm -hmm. Five. I think Busanan just going, trying to be too perfect on that. I think it just needs to be a manoeuvre shot. It just needs to get Tai Tiang across there. I think she's trying to... She's wanting too much from, from that cross-court shot. We saw an error in the net on the last time she played it, and now an error on the side, out the side. It looked like she was trying to hit the winner, wasn't it? Yeah. She? Yeah, Busanan ready for that. Like you said earlier, well coached. Well uh, prepared, perhaps, for this opponent. But her feet were switched, and that racket was ready, wasn't it? Yep. Good spot. It's little things like that that players will look out for. Like, in the, if you were to say, how do you beat Tai Tzu Ying, you wouldn't be able to come up with many things. But everyone, every player on the circuit has patterns and habits that they simply cannot help in the heat of the moment. And if you can recognize a couple of them and get a couple of percent more ready for them, you can snatch little points like that. Oh, that's nice net. Oh. Excellent. Yeah. Rally. I think Bushman's doing the right things. I think she, she whipped Tai Chi Young three times in the back of the court there, then stepped in for an early net shot. Unfortunately, Tai Chi Young got an excellent touch onto that net at two. Look at that. It almost looks so high. Yeah. Because it was so close to the net, and Bushman now backed off. It's difficult to deal with. Yeah. Excellent shot from Tai Su Ying. Yeah, I think in this Nine, match so far, seven. she's really been setting up those straight lines from, from the rear court. I don't think we've seen a full cross court smash from her yet. I wouldn't be surprised if she go back, goes back to playing straight lines. There you go. Oi. Save. Great rally. Oh. Busanan had so much of the sort of physical advantage. Oh, yeah. Tasha Ying just neutralizes so well. Yeah, just brings that the, the initiative back to level. Ten, seven. That one more up the line. You're expecting the cross court. That's the kind of obvious choice. But Tai Chi Young has that skill to hold and push back up the line. Mm. Eleven, seven, two simple. Well, it was. And Tai Su Ying with that advantage, with that terrific start she had. Enough to keep ahead at the mid game interval of Ong Bam Run Fan. 11 7 the score. Busanan into a sixth year of searching for just one single game off Tai Su Ying. 
ยัดเข้าตัวมันไม่ได้แล้ววิ่งตามฟาดฟาดฟาดตกแล้วอย่าเสียหลักห้ามตกเสียหลักไม่จําเป็นต้องร้อยเปอร์เซ็นลูกตบใช่ปะหนูไม่ต้องเอาร้อยเปอร์เซ็นถ้าถ้าถ้าร้อยเปอร์เซ็นคือต้องหนึ่งหนึ่งAgain, once you're just slightly on the back foot, she exploits it and just pulls you even further and further away. Yeah. It's when Tatiana Draka goes up at the net. You, well, anyone Draka goes up vertically at the net, you got to back off. You have to prepare for the hard shot. Only a crazy person would run closer to the net <laughs> in that situation. Good shot. Yeah. A little bit more rhythmic from Tyson yeah. now. That's the shot she was missing last week against um, Cho Chu Wang. Under loads of pressure, she seemed under a bit more time here. It's relentless. Yeah. What a shot. Instinctive, but great feel. And that tape's coming off. I'm hoping that's a good sign. Yeah. Perhaps just preventative. Yeah, she's warm now, she's loose. Maybe that knee. He's ready for action. <laughs> yeah. Another sign of confidence. She hasn't missed many lately. There's not much Busan I can do with that. Absolutely not. Yeah, you see Busan just unraveling a little bit here. She's trying to go perfect to these lines, which I, I understand why. The momentum is fully with Tai Tzu Ying and her shots have definitely sharpened up in this second game. But for Busan, I think, I think the right path is to build the rallies. Tatsuyang is not, as we can see, you know, averse to some mistakes and some errors. I think if Busanan gets, she has to work the rallies more rather than going for these quick, tight winners. Another great rally. Yeah, that little punch in. Oh. Punch into that forehand again. Nine, Back line. Well, this time the confidence to leave it. 17, 9. Tai Su Ying has played a few of them at the very last second, almost off the floor. An eight point lead. Tai Su Ying nearing a spot in the quarterfinals. Busanan seems to have fallen off the pace as well. 
think she's uh, accepting her fate, so to speak. I like you say, I don't know. Yeah, it was in, I think. I'm pretty sure that was challenge. in. It yeah. looked close, this. I mean, Tai Tsuyang had a pretty good view of it. She was right on it. I think that caught yeah. the line. Plum on the line, wasn't it? Yeah. But like you say, yeah, no challenges used. So far on court two today, nothing. Not a bad thing for me, that. I don't mind. Quite a lot of challenges being used these days to uh, gain some little breather, little break in momentum, that kind of thing. Yeah, a little bit of gamesmanship. But hey, you're all for it. You're still playing, so. Yeah, well, they're um, they're there to be used. Exactly. If them's the rules, then them's the rules. That's right. That was a pin perfect shot from Tai Tsuying. Just coming off the pace, coming under the shuttle and let it drop over the net. It's life in Busanan. It's not over just yet. She's not one to give up. So she will try to get as many points here as possible. But I'm not sure she can... Uh, it's, the, it's the consistencies, these little, little blocks that go in the net, these smashes that go out the side. Again, Tai Tsuyang using that little stop drop. It's one of her favourites too, isn't it? Round yeah. the head. And she's sort of on the back foot. And she holds the shuttle. Point 11. She's got it from the forehand as well. She's caught me in the forehand with that one too. Match, match point here, 2011. Yeah. I think she catches all of us, even those watching. <laughs> you have the leg twitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey. It's over. 12, 20. Well, the crowd with the slow clap. Busanan on Van Ronfan with eight match points to save. A feeling of inevitability here with Tai Su Ying on top of this second game. Oh. Yeah. It's only fitting that it's uh, ended with a terrific shot from Tai Su Ying. I think she was a bit uh, worried at the start, though. Busanan was um, up for that. Tai Ying not quite at her very best, especially in the first, the second, however. A different story. Found her rhythm eventually. Yeah. Oh, look at that ending shot. <sighs> Terrific from Tai Ying. Straight games win then for Chinese Taipei's Tai Su Ying. Still very much at the top of the game. And prevents Busanan from a quarter final for another year. 22 20, 21 12, the match score in 43 minutes. Men's doubles coming up in a few moments. Peji Ting, Ren Xiang Yu are taking on the Danes, Karen Sogard. Stay with us.
Welcome back. Round of 16 here at the 2023 Denmark Open here at the Uenza Congress Centre. On court two, live for you. We've got a men's doubles coming up. 